Figure it out. Hello, this is Adam Carlick from Figure It Out Productions. The following video is a video of some kind, and I hope you enjoy it. Hey guys, it's Adam here, and today we're going to be talking about the original Wii. Yes, for real, I'm going to be doing a positive video about the original Wii, to an extent. Wait till the end, that's story time. But uh, this is basically a video to show you how to get the best video quality out of your original Wii games. And unfortunately, it's not a simple process. Uh, I mean, it is and it isn't. It's not necessarily a financially simple process, let's put it that way. So first and foremost, if you want to know, unfortunately, you cannot do this method with the Wii Mini. You can technically do it with the original Wii, though we'll get into that in a bit and I wouldn't recommend it. But what you're basically going to need for this is a Wii U. Of course, the ill-fated uh, successor of the Wii and predecessor of the Nintendo Switch that did not sell particularly well. You will need this uh, as well as this. This is an M cable. This is the newest version. This was provided to me by Marseille Inc. Uh, not too long ago. And I actually have done an entire review of this thing. I've mentioned it many times. I love it. Um, but in my original review, I actually completely forgot to even talk about the Wii in that video. And people called me out on it. And they were right to do that because it was a serious omission. And I'm sorry. Uh, so I thought Olive Branch, because for years I have been not saying positive things about the Wii, so for the people who actually love the Wii, this is for you. I'm going to do you guys a solid here. Um, and so if you're interested in checking this out, by all means, I'll put a link in the description. You can look at it. So in short, what is this thing? Uh, people look at it like it's just a high-end HDMI cable. It's not. I mean, it is technically an HDMI cable, yes, but what really what it is is an external graphics processor that creates, that redraws every single pixel on the fly and creates an anti-aliasing effect. It buffs out the image, it gets rid of jaggies, and it does a bunch of upscaling. It, it actually makes your games look amazing. Um, and it's, it's one of those things where I went into it thinking, this has to be bull. Like, there's no way this is legitimate. And I came out of it a believer. Like, that thing is fantastic. And I know a lot of people have felt the same. There's a lot of videos out there. It's not just me. Uh, it's, it is actually quite an awesome product. But uh, I never showed how it would work with the original Wii. So the thing with the original Wii is that Almost entirely all of its games support 480p progressive scan modes, and the M cable absolutely shines with that resolution. Taking that resolution in, cleaning it up, outputting out 1080p, and making it look astonishing. Um, but there is an Achilles heel to it, which is that the M cable, as you can see, is an HDMI cable. Fundamentally, that's what's the tech that it's using to connect to things. Well, the original Wii didn't support HDMI. Uh, in fact, the Wii Mini didn't even support component. It only supported uh, AV composite, so it's useless in this discussion, I just have it here for pretties. But the, the same goes for the Wii to an extent. You could get this, this is a cheap ass Wii to HDMI converter. It's a little Chinese piece of junk, you plug in the back and it takes the component signal and outputs via HDMI. Technically, this would work with the M cable. Technically, you could do it. The reason I don't sound enthusiastic about that is, one, you don't have the additional benefits of the processing the Wii U would do on it but you also have downgrades because this thing is a cheap piece of shit and all it's gonna do is downgrade the image a bit. So then you have a lower image that gets worse and then the M cable has to work with that as opposed to playing the games on the Wii U where it starts high and only goes better. So yeah, I know that sucks because if you're a big fan of the original Wii <clears throat> and you wanna play the games better, sadly, you can't really use the actual Wii hardware. You have to go one up. So but technically it's there. Just please don't do this version. Go with this. And so let's get into that. Now, of course, the Wii U, the successor to the Wii, not financial successor, but successor, um, supported complete Wii compatibility, backwards compatibility. Uh, and Nintendo gave you some additional uh, benefits to it. it. It ran a little faster and stuff like that. It also had a native upscaling option. So the, the games originally ran in 480p. Now, if you set the Wii U dashboard uh, to 1080p, which you typically would do for most actual Wii U content, it would also run the Wii games and the Wii dashboard in 1080p. The the problem is the upscale that Nintendo built into it really wasn't that good. It was a little better uh, than the actual Wii content, but not awesome. So uh, what I noticed tinkering around with this is that if you set it back to its default resolution, if you set the Wii U to 480p, which I know seems counterintuitive, but you do that, and then you run an original Wii game outputting to 480p but connect it to the M cable, 
Ooh, <laughs> the results, they look really solid. So let me, enough talking, let me just show you what I'm saying. So right here, this footage you are seeing, this is of new Super Mario Brothers Wii running on the Wii U with Nintendo's authorized official upscaler built in. This is the result. Let's do a little zoom in here. As you can see, right there, you got you got right around the characters, around Mario and Luigi, etc. You have a lot of pixels, a lot of jaggies, a lot of ugliness, basically. But you're like, but that's what it's supposed to look like. I get it. You know, that's that's fine. Yeah, but what if it didn't? What if it didn't have to look like this? Enter the M cable. So now what you have is the M cable running on the Wii U in 480p letting the M cable do the additional processing and cleaning, and those are the results. Look how buffed out that is. Look how nice that is. That is so much better. It is unbelievable. Uh, and that's just, that's running off of the Wii U in both instances. Again, the first clip is actually better than it would usually look on an original Wii. So uh, that difference is astonishing. So I'll continue to show you more footage here of uh, this game as well as other games, but um, a couple of points I wanna make. Now, why, why is it important to downscale first? Uh, so this was something I've only recently come to understand. So basically, when the, when the Wii U uh, upscales natively from 10, uh, 480p to 1080p, it uses Nintendo's official thing. When the, it gets to the M cable, the M cable looks at it and goes, all right, this is already 1080p content, so this is as far as I can push it. Whereas if you tell it the truth, you tell it what its actual resolution is supposed to be, then the M cable can kind of you know, crack its fingers and say, okay, Let's do this, let's get in there. And that's when it's allowed to do the maximum processing. Think of it as like being a hat on a hat. You know, you wanna cut out one bullshit filter so that the other one can do the maximum amount of work. And even if these differences somehow are not obviously apparent to you, that's the thing with the M cable that really grows on you is you'll connect it to different devices and sometimes the differences will be subtle. It'll be better, but you're like, I don't know if this is better enough for the money I spent on it, whatever. But it, don't forget, of course, this cable works on other things. We're not, it's not limited to just this console. But it's true, man. Like once you start using it with other things, you'll notice it gets better. You'll notice everything kind of looks better and you'll really notice it as soon as you take it out. As soon as you go back to a normal HDMI cable, you'll be like, whoa. What happened? Why does everything look a lot worse? The M cable is oddly addictive. It's, you know, kind of a seeing is believing type of thing. It's just once you use it, after you've used it for a little while, you get hooked on it and you never really want to go away from it. I, I absolutely love this thing. Like it is a permanent part of my television gaming setup. Like I never get rid of it. Um, I can't recommend it enough to people for all the different benefits it has. But you can, you can make those benefits better and improve upon them by just knowing the consoles and knowing how to set them up, um, which is the unfortunate bitch of it. Like knowing that you have to switch the Wii U to 480p for Wii games, then getting the most out of it. Uh, in certain consoles cases, like the Wii U for actual Wii U games, it's actually recommended to set it to 720p because most games don't actually natively render at 1080p, they upscale as well. So then you let the M cable do it and it'll do it better. The same goes for the Switch. You know, there's various consoles have different settings like that and it's it's unfortunate but it is what it is but that said you can get amazing results as you've seen here in the footage from these things so uh, at the end of the day that's basically the point of this video was just hey your Wii games can look so much better because one of the big pluses of the Wii and I'm throwing you guys the olive branch here is that it its entire library for the most part runs in 480p and that means that almost every single game on it can improve the way you saw in those in that footage there. It's just a big catch to it which is you really need a Wii U and you need the M cable for that process. But if you care about that, if the original Wii was like a big part of your childhood and your or, you know it's hard to think that that's actually to a lot of people's childhood cuz to me that was right after you know high school and stuff but damn time flies man it gets a lot worse as you get older. But there's going to be a generation of people who grew grew up on the Wii who are going to want to revisit it and they're, want it, they're going to want it to look better. Well, look to this video because this is going to be your guide on how to make that happen. Wii U plus this. And keep Wii U's around, man, because they're going to be more valuable as time goes on. You're going to need them for stuff like this. So that's pretty much the, the tech side of this and just kind of the informational side. Now I'm just going to do story rant time about the Wii because like I said, I've never been a fan of this console. I love the Wii U to death. I think this is a wonderful game console. Not you. Not you. Not you. Not you. I know it's repetitive, but not you. I don't like the Wii. I never did. Especially the Wii Mini. Like, damn, man. Ugh. All right. So 
Here's, here's the thing. I did my uh, Nintendo Switch two-year birthday video, and in there I mentioned the Wii and how I didn't like it, etc. Um, and I don't blame people who are newer to the channel, whatever. They've never seen my original like recap of the Wii and why I didn't like it in detail. And I, I don't want to go through all that again. But basically, I've just never been a fan of this console, and it mostly boils down to... Uh, I hated using the Wiimote to interact with games. Not only when it actually works, it just irritates the hell out of me. Even it's, at its best scenario of being completely functional, it's annoying to waggle my arms around to play a game. I don't like it. The problem is it also very rarely ever works. Um, so let me walk you through the situation I went through just last week. I, uh, I, I was like, you know what, I'm gonna revisit the Wii. Because a bunch of people on that Switch video were giving me shit. They're like, dude, you should revisit it. It's been a while. And I was like, you know what, it has been a while. Let's go at it. Let's, let's, let's do the Wii community a solid here. Hence the motivation to even make this video. But actually using the Wii was still a giant pain in the ass. I was like, let me grab a Wiimote. And you know what, I have the official uh, Nintendo charging cradle. It came out during the Wii U era four Wiimotes. Came with its own charging station, came with the, the dock and a battery pack, all that kind of stuff. I even made a review of it, and I recommended it highly because I was like, it's actually really good. You just plug the charger in, then it sits there, it charges, and you're good to go. I still have it. So I was like, cool, let me get that out and plug it in. It's not lighting up. It's not doing anything. That's really weird. I remember it lighting up. I actually checked out my own review of this fucking thing, just to be sure that I knew how it worked still. And I was like, no, it's supposed to light up. Okay, why isn't it lighting up? And I was like, maybe the power supply is dead? That would be weird. So I checked the power supply, because the power supply is actually a 3DS power supply. Plug into a 3DS. No problem on that. That works. So I'm sitting there like, it's still not working on this. I, it, it never charged. Ever. So I was like, oh cool, the charging cradle, which was really only used a couple times for the purposes of a review made years ago, doesn't work at all. Awesome. First great sign of the Wii again, revisiting. Uh, so I was like, cool, whatever, fine. I have older charging cradles, like by Nyko and stuff. Let me grab those and try that out. None of those worked at all. Nothing. Completely dead. I almost felt like a little EMP went off in my, my place that only affected Wii charging cradles, because none of them would work. So I tried different Wiimotes, and I tried with all the cradles, no combination, ever got any results. Awesome. So finally I was like, okay, I'm gonna have to go and get AA batteries. Well, where do I do that? Because it's 2019, and I just don't have AA batteries laying around. Like, it's, I don't use it for anything. So eventually I found some in like a, my TV remote, and I went to that level of desperation to try and turn the thing on. Okay, so I plugged those in. And the Wii mode like flickers for a bit and then doesn't and it just turns off immediately. I go through this process a couple of times with different Wii modes and eventually find one that would stay on for a little bit. And then I'm like, okay, cool, let's sync it to the Wii U now. And then I go through that process because that didn't really want to work. Uh, eventually got a, one of them to sync up, got it to stay on. Awesome. Finally, we're there. Great. Let's start. Okay, I'm going to hold the Wii mode again. I've got my sensor bar all set up like it's supposed to be, and I'm just holding it like this. Just like this, just straight on. And the little hand thing, you know, on the screen is just like fucking losing its mind, going everywhere. And I was like, yes, I remember this. It always did this all the time. And don't tell me it's because of my Wii. I got three of them sitting in front of you. It's always the same. <laughs> it's always the same bullshit. Always goes like that. Horrible, horrible, awful experience. Anyway, so I finally get it to be stable enough that I can at least like start a game. The one I picked was Mario Kart Wii. I was like, cool, I'll try that. Now the reason I wanted Mario Kart Wii is because that game actually natively supports the GameCube controller. Now if you played on original Wii hardware, you just plug the GameCube controller in here. Now sadly, can't do that with the Wii U, but Mayflash, a third party company, came up with an external device to solve that problem. It's, it just plugs into the Wii mote and that powers it, and then you plug a GameCube controller into it, and then you can use the, the GameCube controller. And it more or less tricks it into thinking it's a classic controller, but either way, it works. Or it's supposed to. Uh, so I would plug it in, and I would just get a bunch of random prompts, like on the screen, it's like, Wii menu, not Wii menu, Wii menu, not Wii menu. It was just like losing its mind. Kept changing what it thought the controller was to a Wiimote, to a steering wheel, to uh, a GameCube controller, to a classic controller. It was like, it was spastic. <laughs> it was really something. I was like, wow! And then eventually I got that to work. 
And I had, in order to get it to work, I had to like sit it in just the right position, in just the right spot, and I got it that way, and I was able to play one round of Mario Kart. I mean one round, like three laps, sure, but like one match. Got through that, and then the controller died. Batteries ran out. The Wii mode, I mean. And I was like, that process took two hours. It took two hours to play one match of Mario Kart Wii. And I was like, right, this is why I always hated this stupid console, was because of this kind of crap. And th that's the saddest part, man, is like, everyone comes at me thinking like, oh, he's saying all the games are bad. I'm not saying anything negative about the games. There's a bunch of great games that are trapped on this machine, like a Ghostbusters trap that's taken like some noble ghost, or, like Abraham Lincoln's ghost is trapped inside of a, like one of those ghost pod things. Like, I feel like there's so many great games that are trapped inside of this thing, like the Mario Galaxy games and Zelda games. I mean, at least Mario Kart Wii, if you really want to, you can kind of escape it with a real controller, even though it's a pain in the ass, but, the good ones that are limited to the stupid magic wand, man. Ugh. I just, I'm sorry. I never will understand why that was appealing to anyone other than grandmas, like an ants and, you know, that type of shit. My mom wanted one very infamously and she hates video games, but she was like, oh, it's cool. You do bowling. I will never ever get over it, man. Like I tried and I feel like, and I even, I even complained about it a bit on Twitter and then people were like, yeah, but it does work. No, it totally doesn't work. I think I'm cursed to it forever. To me, my relationship with the Wii is like Batman's relationship with the Joker. It's just, it's destined to be your ultimate opponent forever. <laughs> like, you're just gonna keep having to deal with that forever. So, that said, that was just my experience and I could already see the hate coming in. I'm sorry that my experience was different than yours and if you loved the Wii, that's awesome because now you have a great way to experience the Wii original library in much better video quality. That's what I wanted to show you guys. That's the message of the video. The story there was just for fun because that's really what I went through, which wasn't fun, by the way. Um, but yeah, that's it. Thank you very much, everybody, for watching. Thank you to the guys over at Marseille Inc. for sending this my way. Again, if you want to check this out, there's a link in the description to their website. Um, and again, I, you know, I don't know where you get a Wii U now other than like third-party options, but yeah, that's what I would recommend. I don't even know where you would get this thing. Don't recommend it. I really don't. Don't do that. Uh, but that said, thank you very much for watching. I'll see you all later.